Hi everyone, I'm Joyce. Today is December 6th, 2020, and I decided I wanted to start um, a bit of a series for uh, creating space, making a home, uh, using minimalism, feng shui, um, inspired by minimalism and feng shui. Anyway, oh, Jocko's at my feet. <laughs> Um, so, and I'm hoping that this will, uh, help motivate me to get things done by, uh, by sharing them here. I plan on doing it weekly. Um, I'm going to give a tour of the house and the property. Um, I am embarrassed, just so you know, <laughs> about the condition of things. And, uh, I know I'm not the only one. So... Hopefully, if your home looks like this, or maybe not so bad, you'll uh, you'll take heart and <laughs> be encouraged to um, either uh, clean up along with me, or just don't feel so bad about your place. <laughs> um, that's it. So I think I will pause. If I can, I can pause this. So I'm going to pause this and pick up my phone, and we're going to go around the house and the property. And I will just show you all my clutter and uh, uh, maybe talk about some of the things that uh, we're hoping to do with the place. So that will be uh, that will be this video. I fall ready, and I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so I may as well start right here where I sit and do the videos. <laughs> There's a uh, my computer and uh, this is where I will start as I said um, this is the desk I've been using scanner I purchased for the business got paperwork and stuff around uh, printer uh, a couple of the drawers broken here so now I've got all this stuff on the floor here that needs to be cleaned up and let me see if I can focus that better there we go Anyway, uh, Jocko's taking a nap. Um, I purchased a Cricut machine for the business and I still have it sitting out here. Um, we have our office chair that broke. The back is off of it. So um, a lot of the stuff around here that I'm making this video series for is about well mostly clutter but also we have a lot of things that are in poor repair or just flat out broken um, and of course we'd like to make it beautiful as well um treadmill cat tree teeter hang up so this is <laughs> this is our fitness area i guess you could say anyway uh, lots of boxes under the stairs that need to be gone through. Every once in a while I've gone through them. This used to be way, way worse. Um, okay, my video might quit on me. I might have to pick up the GoPro. I think that was my original plan anyway. So anyway, this is all the... This is the office, so to speak. This was part of the office. This is my library. Um and here too all of this is part of my studio but i moved at least i've got it covered up <laughs> got it all organized in there and covered up okay so my phone did quit on me anyway this is where i started um some more stuff from the studio there's a pillow up there because the cats like to stay up there <laughs> I'm going to go to the bat the cabin bathroom real quick because Doug's about to get in the tub. He has a headache. Um, so bathroom, I think, is, is pretty good. Um, it could be beautified a little better. Um, oh, I've got this set on narrow. You know what? I'm going to pause this and change the setting. Okay, I think this will work better. Um, so anyway, I'm pretty happy with the, uh, I guess the tidiness of the bathroom and it's not, you know, nothing's broke well. <laughs> okay. The faucet seems to be broken. Um, this is, this is on full blast hot water. 
It's just, it's terrible. Anyway, so that needs to be addressed. Um, yeah, otherwise, I'm relatively happy with it. It could be beautified a little bit. Um, well, got uh, some stuff there. I guess the thing I'm most concerned about is under the sink. We had, uh, we had some guests and I just ended up shoving everything under here. So that needs to be addressed. Um, okay, now Doug can take his bath. This is the guest room. Um, okay, I apparently turned off the camera. <laughs> so this is the guest room that will soon be my studio because we don't have sleepover guests. <laughs> I think maybe three or four times ever in eight years. So we need to disassemble the uh, the bunk bed and this will give me a lot of room for my studio. Um, Heaven on Earth Handcrafts. I will put a link in the description below in case you want to check it out. The website is brand new. I still need to work on it, but of course you're welcome to check it out if you like. I make hand painted journals. So this is my, is my, will be my studio. Uh, um, this is our current TV room, which we have not been using because the TV is broken. The tube went out, a uh, display went out, I don't know, something. So yeah, we've got stuff stored here instead of it being a nice useful space. And this is the other side of all the boxes and stuff that, um, that we are left with after some purging here and there over the years. Um, and we're using the top of the storage shelter for, top of the storm shelter for storage as well. Um, more clutter. Uh, actually want to move the, uh, this couch over to here in that corner and move the fitness stuff over to here. So that's a project. Um, and actually the, um, the office will go into the studio. Boy, that will really free up some space here. Anyway, um, up into the loft. Currently Doug is using the loft as his little man cave. Um, I'll turn on the flashlight because it's dim up here. We have a really nice light up here. The lights are burned out though. <laughs> and, we're, and it's really tricky um, getting them changed. So we have not changed them. And even when it the bulbs do work, it's pretty, uh, it's still pretty dim. So anyway, this is Doug's space up here. And again, more storage stuff that needs to be cleared out or we need to find another home for. Um, <laughs> somewhere in our place or somebody else's home. You leading the way, Victor? Go on, hon. <laughs> These stairs are also a project that we are not sure yet what to do with. Um, the treads are too narrow and it, it's really dangerous and they're right at the wall and right at the front door. I mean, it, this is just a really, really awkward area right here. Oh, bye, Victor. <laughs> so we wanna um, turn this door and we probably have to get a different door, but uh, we wanna, uh, the door to open on this side, inward still, but on this side, so you're not walking right into the stairs. Okay, so that's this area. Um, just again, clutter. Okay, walking into the kitchen dining room. Anyway, more clutter. I did a purge of the pantry um, when I started, uh, when I ordered the meal kit, the meal starter kit from Dr. Furman. And I will put a link in the description to that. Um, so I figured I was gonna have pretty and healthy food 
So I wanted a pretty and healthy space to store that food. And so I revamped the, um, the pantry. It's still not great, but oh my God, it's so much better than it was. And you just can't see that. <laughs> anyway, that's what this, um, some of this is, is left over from in here. Well, anyway, we have a friend that we're uh, purchasing a, an upright freezer from, and it will go here. So this was actually my first project is to clear all of this out so that we can purchase the ref the freezer, the deep freeze. So, yeah, don't know what we're going to do with all of this yet. That'll be part of the project, of course. Um, this door here, this is uh, this leads to the guest room. So, yeah, you can see that it's not in good repair. It's falling off of its frame. Actually, this one is too. Uh, sometimes it comes apart on us. Uh, fortunately, it's held pretty well uh, lately. <laughs> so lots of projects. Um, the kitchen, I think mostly we just want to update this. Um, yeah, mostly. But yeah, we do have some, uh, some clutter pockets too. Uh, more disrepair the front of that uh, drawer came off the front of this drawer fell off <laughs> um, let's see what else okay this is um, consider this the pet room another item of disrepair um, what happened I think oh we were leaking the roof was leaking so I cut out the drywall up there and I thought I fixed it um, went up onto the roof and I thought I fixed it, but I did not. So it doesn't, it's very rare that it actually leaks, but it does still leak. So I wanted to make sure that we got that taken care of before we replace the drywall and my little tarping patch job is not holding well. We also took out the ceiling fan um, in preparation for whatever might be necessary on this ceiling and have not reinstalled it. Um, don't intend to until that is fixed. Uh, you can see we've got some water spots here. So yeah, the leak has continued. We just don't, we don't see water dripping, but, uh, but yeah, it's obviously happening along, along here on the roof. Well, this is this, a, an addition. So on the roof, this is part of the old roof. And then here's the new roof over here, and apparently they did not connect them well. Um, I'm relatively happy with this. I think it's pretty well organized. Um, I do have to maintain it regularly though, because it gets, it gets overrun. And it could look prettier. <laughs> um, we've got a collection of miscellaneous boards and other materials. I've used a lot of it in the pantry, um, but you know, this is not a place for a uh, ladder to live. This is the master bedroom. Hi, Felicity. How are you, honey? This is the master bedroom. It has a lot of Doug's music equipment, and he has a lot of music equipment. So, of course, that, um, that takes up a lot of space. This was the best room to do it in because of the size of the room. Um, but, yeah, he's got guitars everywhere, and uh, we are... Uh, another part of the tour will be um, his future music studio. Um, so lots of clutter in the master bedroom. Um, more disrepair. This, uh, this door needs to be replaced. It actually hangs well on the frame, on the hinges, but uh, needs to be replaced. Hey, Joni. You gonna help me too, honey? <laughs> um, yeah, we wanna change change the paint in this room. It's very, very dark, which is why Doug took the shade. One reason Doug took the shade off of the uh, ceiling fan, because it's so dark in here. All right, I think I'm gonna pause this, get my uh, coat on, and we will go outside. 
Okay, here we are. Oh, another item that needs maintenance is the pet door. Uh, we've got some gaps, the plastic has shrunk, um, and we've had this for eight years since we moved in. Both of the flaps, so the flaps need to be replaced. Um, you coming out, Joni? A uh, gate that we were using in the house to separate the dogs, not to separate the dogs, but to keep them out of other areas. Um, well, like when we were using the dining room and we didn't want them begging at the table. Um, and I guess it's, I don't know, I guess it broke. I honestly don't remember, but it keeps hanging around. I should recycle it. Um, that wiring has been there for... <laughs> ever since we moved in actually i don't know anyway we need to cut that off um let's see anyway this is our deck it needs to be stained cleaned probably sanded and stained um this is the dining table that we were using and it got very wobbly and um you want to go out out huh Okay, hold on. Hold on. Oh. Vicious doggy. That's Millie. Anyway, um, and this is an outdoor carpet that we put down when it's raining because this gets very slick here. And when it's not raining, I pick it up to air it out so it dries out. More clutter. Another gate. Uh, pet dividing gate and some I don't some stuff I got for gardening I guess <laughs> so more clutter there um, this ivy needs to be gone through paired back a little bit uh, I want to put up a, a trellis there about I don't know a few feet away from the house and let the ivy grow up on that I think that would be really cool and provide a nice little private walkway for the cats because they like to go from hi Opie <laughs> they like to go from the pet door uh, through the deck uh, through the slat on the deck and through here to the porch I guess I may as well show you the porch too um, another area of clutter it's still a huge improvement believe me <laughs> try to believe me huge huge improvement um mostly on doug's part he went through a lot of this and moved it around so yeah that's some more stuff that we need to go through so i'm going to take you to the equipment shed you guys coming they're not coming uh two of six i think Two of six raised beds that we have scattered across the property, that I have scattered across the property, um, that need to be maintained. Uh, I gardened this year um, a little bit, but I'm just terrible about harvesting. I don't know why. <laughs> so that's, um, that's a project. Oh, an outhouse that came with the property. <laughs> Uh, the door finally fell off and oh this is some of the clutter that was on the porch that Doug moved so it's I mean it just got moved <laughs> it still needs to be processed trashed in the outside of the outhouse I mean this all used to was intact when we moved in but uh, and we do want to keep it we think it's we just think it's cool um, it just needs to look nice you know it needs to be repaired some things replaced and this is an outdoor shower that we also think is really cool and that we want to keep um, but again we want to uh, we want to update it make it cooler looking okay this is the equipment shed that we had built last year um and we will go in you want to go in with us with me no um okay they'll be fine um so this is the front part of the equipment shed so this is the actual equipment part of the equipment shed 
and uh, yeah, it's not finished. We need to put walls on it and definitely shelves because at this point, every obviously everything is on the floor, and uh, that's not useful. Um, it takes up a lot of space that way. We need to get um, we can get a lot of this off the floor, I think, um, and that would be helpful. So. At least this is this is nicely organized. I like the way Doug has uh, everything, the vehicles lined up, um, the tools. This this is a really really big problem for us. Um, Doug has a lot of tools. I had some tools. Uh, when my dad died, we took uh, some of his tools, and we've got duplicates. We've got uh tools that are broken or uh, it's just it's a mess it needs to be gone through as well um this is and then some of this is uh from doug's greenhouse that uh he is relocating into here as well it's very very small it's it, the greenhouse he's using right now is like a, uh was meant to be a little chicken coop so this will be Doug's studio, his music studio. Doesn't again more clutter, more unfinished projects. So this will be a Doug's music studio, and this will be his new greenhouse. Um, and he is working on that. That's one of the things we've started working on. But anyway, so that's the shed. Uh, another one of the projects regarding the shed is the outside of it um, hey Jocko um, the outside edge of it hey Fritzy you're not going in there um, well you can see at the bottom of the garage door all of that dirt is from it's splashing up when it rains even though we've got this really great overhang up here um, I mean, it still rains down here. So, you know, after a while, that's going to damage the wood at the bottom. And I think Doug said one of these pieces is split. Um, yeah, I think that's it right there. Um, it probably was split before it got rained on. But anyway, so... We want to put gravel around here, maybe pea gravel, I don't know, something to help, uh, to help protect the, the shed, the walls of the shed. Okay, so that's the shed, um, the pond here. All right, more clutter. Uh, I don't even remember what I brought these totes out for. It had something to do with the garden, I guess, but I don't remember. And I just, I need to do something with them. Our wheelbarrow, I believe the, uh, the tire is flat and, um, we did not have a place to put it out, um, under cover. We've had it for several years, and so the bottom is a little bit rusted. It still works. I mean, it's still fine, but we have not fixed the tire, so we can't use it. And Doug just left it there when he dumped uh, some wood ash, I think. Oh, uh, the gazebo, I forgot about that. It has been falling apart gradually over the years. Um, the cats like to get up on top. That's one of their pleasures and um, so I'm sure they've been instrumental in some of those slats breaking and falling down um, and you can see all the moss and, and lichen on the uh, on the floor of the gazebo because it, it does collect a lot of water here uh, we actually have uh, I don't know I'd say maybe a third of the front yard now is moss which I like. I think it's really cool. It's soft, um, but it's just uh, an indication of how uh, how much water we end up collecting here. Oh, this was another uh, little garden that I planted earlier this year. Uh, it was a nursery actually, and I ended up never uh, transplanting the plants, so they grew there, and I never harvested them either. I'm for some reason not very good at that 
uh, the backyard. This is the pen under here. Uh, we put up last year. I never took it down. So it's gotten all torn up and uh, that needs to be taken down. It's a really nice shelter though, really nice frame. I'm hoping that I can find just a replacement, um, replacement panels to put up. Let's see, I think, uh, I, I really think that's it. This uh, firewood shelter here, also not great, but uh, we didn't have one last year. We just, or did we set this up last year? Maybe we did. Anyway, this was an old greenhouse that uh, Doug had purchased, and uh, the, uh, the flaps, the canopy, you know, like all of that. It was plastic and it just disintegrated, so uh, we just repurposed the frame. And it works. It doesn't look great though. It looks better than, <laughs> better than our pile used to, but it doesn't look great. And it would be, we'd like to get a proper shelter for our firewood. Um, more raised beds that I have let go that need to be maintained and a uh, collection of tires um, that we have found on the property. And I want to use them uh, for putting flowers in around the property, probably at the end of the driveway. And I have not done that. This is one of the uh, composting uh, bins that I purchased that I have not been using. I have just been dumping. This is Doug's current greenhouse. Um, uh, we were given this swing, the canopy broke on it, and we never replaced it, and it just, it ended up out here. <laughs> so, I mean, we like it, but we didn't use it very often, and anyway, there, there's more clutter sitting there. Um, this needs a home. This is our snow blade that goes on the, I believe it goes on the, um, the four-wheeler, but it might go on the, the tractor, the lawnmower. Um, Doug just recently took down our TV antenna, broadcast antenna. It, I mean, it just, it didn't work very well anyway. And we use Hulu and Netflix and Prime Video almost exclusively now. So, so anyway, we just, Doug tore it down. It, it actually came apart from the house. This is where I've been doing most of my most of my composting, um, and it's just been piling up because it sits here and composts, and then I don't move it to the raised beds because um, gardening is you know I enjoy it when I do it, but it's not something I have made a priority, although. It will be a priority this coming season because I am uh, eating differently. I'm going to be eating a lot of vegetables and I would really rather just come outside, do my shopping outside on the property, cut my own, hey Lacey, cut my own lettuces and stuff like that. So um, yeah, it would be useful to they actually do that. Um, so I started putting the comp, dumping our compost in here in this raised bed. I figured just do it directly, but maybe not such a good idea. I mean, I knew the wildlife would, would come pick through it, but I didn't think it would be such a mess. Um, and these bags are in there because they're broken and they're compostable anyway. So Put them in the compost. Hi, honey. Do you want to come up? Huh? No? You just want petting. Okay. <laughs> you want to say hello? <laughs> you are coming up? Yes? No. Okay. So, but that's it. So, um, I guess I will stop this video and head back to the computer. 
Okay, so that's the tour of the place and a lot of stuff that uh, that we want to fix, uh, move, change, clean up, <laughs> lots of stuff. And I'm sure there were plenty of things that I missed. But anyway, so I figured once a week I will uh, take you guys with me through... Um, through a project at a time. I'm sure there will be some projects that uh, that take longer than a week. But anyway, so once a week I'll be posting about my progress on cleaning up and organizing and beautifying our home. Um, that's it. <laughs> so I will see you guys next time. See you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>